Uh, you saw some, some half guard stuff, okay? I'm going to start when my opponent has my leg here, okay? So if he has my knee close to his head, most likely my opponent's leg has to be up, okay? My knee has to be up, and he was trying to, to go under me, okay? A common mistake is people come in here and try to force, sprawl this leg back on diagonal, and then what then happen is, with this leg and his arm, as I'm sprawling here, he's strong on this angle of this arm, okay? So, this motion is strong. So, he ain't get me up, and then going between my legs or to the super deep half guard. So, instead, to sprawl in here, okay? So, I always push in the floor, okay? So, he wanna keep my knee connected to his head. I wanna uh, do the opposite. So I start to push the floor and move backward. Okay, as soon as I get some space, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch my leg and I'm gonna put my weight, hold up, hold the uh, mic. I'm gonna start to put my weight on his head and I'm gonna stretch my leg. And now I'm gonna sprawl straight. Okay, keep retreating straight. Okay? Because he's weaker with his arm straight than on his arm on the end. So with this hand here, now I force my leg inside. Bring my knee close to his hip, okay? And come back with my knee inside. Okay, get on this position here. Now I'm under his armpit and my knee is on the floor, okay? What I want you guys to do through here is hold his wrist and push away from his body. Okay, I push away from his body and I give some space to him. Okay, posture up. I force his hand to the floor. He will go with this hand over there to try to break my grip or even if he lift his elbow, whatever he does here, you know, no, no, just, even if you stay here, his elbow is high, I push his elbow across and I block with my chest. Now I can bring his hand close, gonna lift his wrist and come with my hand on there. Move my hand like that, lift you. Okay, push his hand. Then finger grip, elbow on the floor. And then I will sprawl here, okay? My chest on the floor, head on the forehead on the floor, and I will squeeze. Don't worry, he passed his guard. Actually, it's better to stay on the half guard. You lose a little bit of pressure, but it's much harder for him to defend. Okay, when you pass, he can hold behind his leg and do the defend. So we're gonna start here, okay? So I start to push the foot and try to go backwards and try to create a little space to put my hand inside. Once I put my hand inside, I stretch my leg and I sprawl straight back. Don't try to sprawl backward. Don't try to do that because now just go under me, man. It's easier for him to come under. Okay? So you can even twist. You see how I force my hip bone to the floor? Okay, come here, I stretch my leg, and I start to force my hip bone to the floor, and I start to sprawling. Okay, and then I come with my knee inside. Okay? Hold his wrist. And push far away. Here I'm fine. Okay? So, it's common that he goes in and tries to break my grip. That's the best case scenario because as he holds my, my wrist, I just move my hand closer and then I grab. Take your time here, you're not in a hurry. You control him. He's just in trouble. So, just create some space, come under his fist, move your elbow close to his head, on the floor, make a grip, knee up and now squeeze. Easy? That's good.